Hello, my name's Sarah Martin-Law and I work for BOC. You may not have heard of BOC, but the gases we produce go into hundreds of products we come across every day. My name is Keith Nicholson and I also work for BOC in the Technical Sales Department. I am based here at TAME in the Food Technology Centre. BOC supplies hundreds of gases, mixtures and pure to our customers, but in the main we supply air gases, oxygen and nitrogen, which are extracted from the atmosphere. Whether it's frozen food, fizzy drinks, hospital oxygen supplies, hydrogen power cars, MRI scanners or party balloons, all of them use gases produced by BOC. The gases used to package food, amongst other things, are distilled from the air using fractional distillation. At minus 183 degrees centigrade, oxygen separates out as a liquid and very cold nitrogen gas remains. When cooled still further, to minus 196 degrees centigrade, nitrogen becomes a cryogenic liquid. Traditional freezing of food occurs in a three-step process. First, the temperature is reduced to the freezing point. The water in the food stuff then turns to ice. This is called the latent heat phase. Latent heat is changing the state or phase of a substance, the food, without changing the temperature. The third step is to reduce the temperature further, usually to about minus 18 degrees centigrade. If done slowly, the process damages food cells. In order to ensure high product quality, the freezing process must be carried out quickly. Using fast cryogenic freezing, the water inside and outside of the cells freezes at the same rate. This ensures that the cells remain intact and the food keeps its freshness, flavour and texture as close to the fresh condition as possible. Our cryogenic gases can be used to fast freeze foods. We can use liquid nitrogen at minus 196 degrees centigrade on direct contact with the surface of the product to remove the heat. When it comes into contact with warmer materials, such as food at ambient temperature, it vaporises, absorbing a large amount of heat from the material and turning instead to a very cold gas. This process, known as cryogenic freezing and cooling, has been in industrial use for over 40 years and is well known for producing high quality frozen and chilled goods. When the temperature is lowered below the freezing point, the growth of microorganisms decreases rapidly and will completely cease at a certain temperature. This is due not only to the lowering of the product's temperature, but also to the formation of ice. Microbes need free liquid water in order to flourish. They are their most active between the temperatures of plus 60 and plus 5 degrees centigrade. So heating above plus 60 and cooling below plus 5 minimises their impact and reduces the risk of food poisoning. The modified atmosphere packaged gas mixtures usually consist of the normal air gases, carbon dioxide, nitrogen and oxygen. The best gas mixture and exact proportions depend upon the particular foodstuff and its properties. After completing my chemistry degree, I joined BOC on their graduate scheme and completed a number of roles within sales and marketing across the wide variety of businesses. Today I'm still in the marketing department and use my chemistry on a daily basis to understand the technical details of their products and services. I started my career as an apprentice in electrical engineering and spent a number of years in the energy sector before joining BOC. In my time with BOC, I've been able to gain technical qualifications in parallel with my career development. Mm -hmm.